हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू फ्रेश ओबी सो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल टॉक अबाउट वन लेटेस्ट ऑफ कैंपस प्लेसमेंट अपॉर्चुनिटी फ्रॉम एटॉस सेंटल सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑल द थिंग्स वन शुड नो बिफोर अप्लाइंग फॉर दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी फ्रॉम अटॉस सेंटल सो विल डिस्कस अबाउट द जॉब रोल द कंपनसेशन दे आर ऑफरिंग एंड ऑल्सो विल डिस्कस विच बैचेस एंड विच डिग्री होल्डर्स आर एलिजिबल फॉर दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी also we'll talk about the eligibility criteria the prerequisites and also i will show how one can actually fill the registration form of this opportunity so please stay tuned till the end so that you can get a complete idea over this opportunity and also uh, you will get to know how you can fill the form and uh, i will also tell all the information related to the links required so that you can apply for this opportunity Uh, so before moving forward with the today's video, so let me tell you about Fresh O B. So in this channel, you will get all the latest updates regarding various off-campus job opportunities from various MNCs from all over the India. So if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, then I request you all please subscribe to the channel so that you can get all the latest updates and notifications regarding the job opportunities and also. Uh, i make videos on the recruitment process and so let's begin with the today's video that is about the off campus opportunity from atos sintel so atos sintel is hiring for the position of associate consultant and the compensation they are offering is of of 3.4 lpa and uh, next we will talk about all the eligibility criteria so in eligibility criteria the very first point is this opportunity is only for all the 2020 graduate students from uh, recognized universities and the courses and streams which are eligible for this opportunity are all the be btech holders in the streams computer science and it are eligible and all the mca holders in computer application are eligible for this opportunity and the uh, minimum aggregate required in uh, Tenth is sixty percent, and also one should have a total score of sixty percent in his or her twelfth and uh, graduation. And if you have done your post graduation, then also you should have a total score of sixty percent there. Then and then only you are eligible for this opportunity. And uh, talking about the backlog, then no current backlogs are eligible. So if you have any current backlog, then you are not eligible for this opportunity. and uh, talking about the educational break then max one year of break in education is allowed from your 10th to the highest qualification so make a note of all this eligibility criteria and make sure you uh, fulfill all this criteria so that you can uh, move forward and fill the application form for this opportunity so next we will talk about the prerequisites so the very first point they have mentioned here is a candidate should have good written and verbal english skills and uh, next is flexible to work in any shift whether it is a morning shift afternoon shift or a night shift that is uh, this uh, it may be possible like they will put you in different shift like that will be your 24 by 7 shift talking about the job location so they have mentioned total four job locations here like chennai pune mumbai and tiruvannamali so depending upon the requirements so they will allocate you in any of these uh, locations and uh, here they have mentioned a note like atos central reserves the right of location like depending upon the requirement they will put you in any of this location and uh, there is a thing you should uh, consider before applying the thing is like eligible candidates will receive communication from atos central about the hiring process on their registered email address so once uh, you fill the registration form the the company will go through all the things that you have mentioned in your registration form and uh, if you fulfill all the uh, eligibility criteria they have already mentioned then they will shortlist you and uh, they will mail you all the further recruitment process regarding information in your registered mail id so make sure you go through all the eligibility criteria and all the things they have mentioned in the uh, mail so next we will talk about how one can apply actually uh, to this opportunity so i will provide the link required for the same in the description box of the video so just click on that link 
and uh, you will be just uh, redirected to the official page so from there you can fill the registration form so i will show you a kind of a demo like how you can fill that registration form so that it will be easy for you to fill all the registration form so once you click on the link that i have already mentioned in the description box you will come across uh, this kind of a page which you can see on your screen right now so here they have mentioned a kind of a disclaimer like your chance of getting shortlisted to participate in the recruitment drive is only applicable to correct information filled in the registration form true to your knowledge so please make sure you are filling all the information correct in the application form so after reading click here on the next so after clicking on next you can see a page like this so here they have mentioned the registration form eligibility criteria so if you are willing you can download this too by clicking here and you can read all the things they have mentioned here about the eligibility criteria and the prerequisite so we have already discussed all these things so if you are willing to read again you can just download this pdf and read all the things after reading just click here on the i have read the eligibility criteria and click on accept so after clicking on accept so here they have given a kind of pdf which includes all the instructions one should go through before actually proceeding with the filling of registration form so if you are willing to read you can just download this application for, uh, download this instructions pdf by clicking on this arrow here and uh, you can go through all the things they have mentioned here so that you will not make any kind of mistake so after going through all the instructions just click here on the i have read the instructions carefully and click on next so after clicking next you can see the actual candidate registration form here so very firstly you will have to fill your aadhar number so this is not mandatory if you have you are willing to fill you can fill the your aadhar number so after that you have to fill your pan details and your prefix in prefix you can fill this any of these two and your first name after that you have to fill your middle name your last name your date of birth your father's first name your mother's first name after that you have to fill your primary mobile number and then re enter your mobile number and uh, your gender your email id i request you all please make sure you are entering the correct email id because all the further uh, communications will be made by the company to you only by this official mail id that you have mentioned here so please make sure you are filling the correct email id and uh, you have to validate your email id and after that you have to fill the marital status and your mother tongue after that you have to fill the current address and the city the state the legion and the pin code and uh, if your current address is same as the permanent address then just simply put here yes or no and uh, after that here like a preferred interview locations so here you have to fill preferred interview locations you can see a number of cities here so whichever is suitable for you you can fill that location for your interview and uh, how did you get to know about this opportunity you can fill any of these things from where you got to know about this opportunity and uh, you have to fill the pin code and the nationality so after filling that information just click on the next and you can see a page like this so you, here you have to fill all the information related to your educational details so if you have are a, a pg holder then you can fill yes or no here if you are an undergraduate student then you can fill yes or no and if you are a diploma holder then you can fill yes or no and uh, here you have to uh, fill yes or no about your hsc and you have to mention your ssc and hsc percentages here and uh, after that uh, here gap between academic studies from 10th uh, to highest qualification so if you have any kind of gap from your 10th to the highest qualification you, as you can see there are total four options no gap 0 to 12 months of gap 
13 to 24 months of gap and 24 months and above gap so any of the one you can fill here so after filling the information about your educational qualifications you have to fill uh, your professional experience so if you have any kind of experience then you can click here on internship and work experience or if you are a fresher then you can fill this uh, fresher and you have to done upload your cv so you have to upload your cv in the doc or docs format and the max size of the file should be of 2 mb and uh, after filling all this information just click here on the i agree to terms and conditions and you can now submit the form so in this way you i have mentioned all the things uh, for filling the registration form so i have already mentioned the link required for the registration form in the description box of the video so if you are willing to apply for this opportunity you can simply go to that link and uh, apply from that link so that's it for today so i come up with this kind of opportunities on a regular basis so please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share this video with your fellow friends who are looking for such opportunities and uh, subscribe to the channel and like this video and if you come across any type of queries related to the video you can simply comment all your queries in the comment section below i will definitely reply to all your queries asap and we'll meet in the next video with one more such opportunity thank you